And now for today's Bible question. Today we've been learning about the characteristics of the kingdom. We learned that followers of Jesus should not offend little ones, should be willing to forgive, serve, and show gratitude. We also learned about the coming king and his judgment on the sinful world. Someone might ask the question, what will happen to those people who are left behind when Jesus comes for his church? There is some confusion among Christians about what exactly will take place when Jesus returns to judge the world. The reason for the confusion is that the details in the Bible are not complete. We only have some information. A careful Bible student will collect all the information he can about the future judgments and the Lord's return and try to best understand what will take place. Though many details are not clear, a careful study will show us that Jesus first returns at the rapture to take away his church. This could happen at any moment from now. Following Christ's return for his church, he will bring about severe judgments upon all nations. This time of judgment is called the tribulation period, which lasts for seven years and is spoken of in Matthew 24 and Revelation chapter 6 to 18. Many people will die during the tribulation due to God's judgments, and Israel will be attacked and almost destroyed by her enemies in a great battle at Armageddon. At the end of the seven years, the Lord will appear like lightning flashing across the sky and all people will see His coming. There will be no mistake about who it is or about His right and authority to reign. He will judge all the nations at His coming and many will be cast into eternal judgment because of their refusal to honor Jesus as the rightful King. This judgment of the nations will commence a new era of peace and prosperity where Jesus will reign as King of Kings and Lord of Lords from Jerusalem. His reign will continue for 1,000 years, but at the end of that period the Bible tells us there will be a final rebellion when Satan is released from bondage. Jesus will destroy all of his opponents and cast all unrepentant sinners of all ages into the lake of fire along with the devil and his demons. This is the final and eternal judgment. After this, the righteous will live with Christ in the new heaven and new earth forever and ever. The things we need to be most concerned about are the impending judgments that are about to fall upon the earth when the Lord snatches away his church into heaven. Some people are talking about the end of the world coming, but we know the world will not be destroyed for at least another 1,007 years, even if the Lord should call his church home today. If you are not a Christian and the Lord comes for his church, then you will be left behind to face the terrible time of judgment known as the tribulation. With the Christians gone, the world will become a very wicked place of sin and rebellion. Some might think that after the Lord comes for his church, there may still be a chance to repent and come to the Lord in faith. We cannot be certain about this, for it appears that those who have been rejecting God's salvation before he comes for his church will believe a lie after the church is gone. This is what the Bible tells us in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11. This passage tells us that God will send a strong delusion upon those who have rejected his salvation. And this appears to be God's judgment against them. We might expect that when the church is suddenly taken out of the world, that everyone in fear would repent and turn to the Lord. However, the Bible indicates that even with the miraculous rapture of the church and many catastrophic signs of judgment, the people will prefer to believe a lie, and thus in the hardness of their hearts will not repent and be saved. The Bible indicates that some people will be saved during the tribulation period. Perhaps it will be those who have never heard before the gospel message. But these tribulation believers will be fiercely persecuted by the Antichrist, who will be in power during that time. Many will be martyred because of their faith in Jesus. Today is the day of grace and your opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. 
before it is too late. When the call comes from heaven for the Christians to meet the Lord, will you be ready, or will you be left behind to face God's wrath? I hope if you do not know Jesus as your personal Savior, you will not waste another day before you repent and give your life over to Him. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 11.